Hi. Welcome again to my channel. My name is Ruber, Robert Keith, and I am the Hopeful Wanderer. And in this episode, we are going to talk about the mysteries of the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, baby. It's going to be amazing. I discovered a cave, and I want to get credit for that discovery. But first, I will tell you about some of the mysteries that surround the Grand Canyon and that whole Four Corners area. Apparently, there's ancient ruins all over the place. I didn't realize there were ancient ruins at the Grand Canyon themselves. I didn't get to go to them because they had a lot of stuff closed off because of, you know. Anyway, great example was Mesa Verde National Park and all those, those buildings that are built underneath that cliff. That's one example. And there's a story behind all of this about a trickster long, like ages ago, when the people that did live there. And they loved gambling, oddly enough, right? Isn't that ironic that that was one of the things they really, that was one of their pastimes in the past, like thousands of years ago, it was gambling. And apparently this trickster showed up and he started winning to the point where he was making people his slaves. Evil person. And he ended up corrupting everybody and and eventually it cursed the land. There's some, it's, there's, it's a long story. I'm not going to go into it. You can always do the research. But the land was cursed. And that was part of my job is to go around burning sage and trying to break the curse. But it was, it's an interesting story. Look into it, please. I'm not going to get into that. But I'm just going to focus on what I discovered at the Grand Canyon. I was, you know, spent there 14 days. It was the middle. It was er, really early spring. And it was like ice, snow everywhere. There was nobody there. So it was like, it was awesome on that aspect. You know me. I love being alone. I'm cool with it. Not that I don't want to hug every once in a while eventually when I get married, but so I had plenty of time just to wander around the Grand Canyon. And, and the one thing I thought about when I found this cave is why in the hell didn't anybody else notice it? But if you think about it, you go to the Grand Canyon to look out over the vista, the view, right? You don't go to the Grand Canyon to look at this, the cliff walls that are like that you walk around because there's a trail that goes from, you know, a bunch of hotels and it's the, they call it the rim trail. And you just walk around the rim and you look out and you take pictures. Well, you know me, I, I'm just, my, the way my brain works and the way my, I, I'm always very actively searching and looking and, you know, I'm an abstract artist so I can, I can pull something out of just a complete hodgepodge, right? So anyways, I'm just walking around this trail and I'm do 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 and I kind of look back. And I'm actually walking back towards the trail to where I was coming and I'll explain that in a minute. And I noticed this dark spot along the wall, and the cap. It's like maybe a hundred feet from, excuse me, a hundred feet from the top of the rim trail. And I was just like, "What the hell is that?" Right. So I started looking at it, and really just, it was a cave. It looked like a doorway, like an arch at the top and a flat bottom. And it was dark. And I took pictures of it, and I actually posted them on my Facebook page. Um, Robert Keith, by the way, if you want to go see it there, I didn't take, I, I think I took a video. I might not have. I don't think I did. I'm not sure. Anyway, I might have, I'll go back. But the point is, is there's a cave and I was thinking that, and the, the reason why it got me thinking about that was I saw this, you know, the ancient discoveries and they were talking about this, these people finding hieroglyphics like the Egyptian hieroglyphics, hieroglyphics at the Grand Canyon. And there was like a special and they had a copter and they were trying to go find the, the cave that this guy was saying he discovered with his wife. And the interesting part was the helicopter pilot couldn't fly down that far to where the cave was. She said, I can't go any farther than this. The FFA, you know, basically bans people from flying any farther down into the canyon. Really. And that was got me thinking about the drones. Why they wouldn't let you have drones flying over the Grand Canyon. They're prohibited to fly drones at the Grand Canyon. Anyway, I'm going to tell you where the cave is. So anybody that goes to the Grand Canyon, you can see it for yourself. And if you have the balls to throw out a, you know, a drone and go into the cave with some lights, God bless you. And I just want credit for it because I found the damn thing. I'm going to tell you how, where it is. Okay, it's the, there's a Shrine of the Ages, which is kind of weird. It's right next to the... the 
Grand Canyon Park headquarters. There's a parking lot right there. And then there's a trail that goes out to the rim. The cave is about 50 feet on the left of the trail. But to actually see the cave, you have to walk around to the left because it goes left and right. You have to walk around to the left and you look back at the canyon wall and you'll see it. You'll see the cave. It's there. And what is in the cave? I don't know. What is the government trying to keep us from knowing? Like I said, if you have a drone and you're at the Grand Canyon, please explore it. If you want to, I actually thought about hiring some people to, to finding some people that, you know, that are mountain climbers that have the, the gear and the, the ropes that just balls out and go down there. I'll do it. I mean, I wouldn't mind finding the cave. What are they going to do? Arrest me for discovering a freaking cave at the Grand Canyon? What's inside the cave? Where does that cave lead to? Is there an underground city underneath the, your feet when you're walking around in the Grand Canyon? Things that make you go, hmm. Yes. So I discovered a cave at the Grand Canyon. You got to go past the, what is it, McKee Amphitheater too. You'll see the trail. It's right there. Like I said, if you go past that little parking lot where the park headquarters is, and the Shrine of the Ages, whatever that is, yeah, just go straight up to the path, and you, once you hit the Grand Canyon wall, I mean, the, you see the Grand Canyon, you're looking down, it's right below your feet, about 50 feet to the left. So, you know, explore. There's there's mysteries that they're not telling us about, and of course they're losers. So anyway, mysteries are out there to be solved still, obviously. So, yeah, cool. That's my, that's my video today about the mysteries of the Grand Canyon. And there is a cave. And it's not way down in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. It's right below the rim. Literally, you could just rappel down the, the cliff wall. There's trees around. You can hook up ropes. I'm, I'm not encouraging anybody to hurt themselves. But if you're an expert and you want to discover a cave, you know, or explore a cave, I discovered it. My name is Robert, Robert Keith, and I discovered a cave at the Grand Canyon. Sweet. Okay. That's it. I love you, God loves you, and the universe is really cool. They're digging you. And they got some mysteries to show you. We're not done yet. Anyway, yeah. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Take that high ground, keep it, and do good.